an open letter to the cast of Real Housewives of Nairobi. Don't you dare talk about my hair, okay? Whatever, okay? Anyway, I'm a, it's a long time by now. So, first thing. In Susan's ass, and you know she's Susan's minion. I feel like this, but living in Liachanga, and we all know, like, we watch these reality shows to Kusanya drama. You should also have snacks because we are here for a long time. If you like these videos, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if I should react to other real housewives. And comment down below uh, any any unpopular opinion you have of reality show, especially this one in Nairobi. Hey, how you? This is a mess. So, my other comment. I watch my ways. It's the finale of the Real Housewife of Nairobi. And honestly, Vera Siddika did carry this show, and obviously me. Why I was invited in the reunion? How you like me with black hair? Yes, but. He Do you see my new, my new kimono? Yeah, from yeah, from this company here. I like it so much. So to get twenty to get twenty percent discount off, uh, use coupon code Joyce M. Don't ask what Joyce M is. Just use it and go to Ilvari. Uh, link will be on the description down below to go to the Yulba, Yulbari website. I chose Peacock Red Kimono and you can actually wear this kimono outside also. So just copy paste the link that I'm going to be giving you and put it in the discount code and yeah, do the same and you get 20% off. You see how, how that went from 72 to $62. So today, before we start reviewing uh, Relaxers of Nairobi, let's unbox. Uh, so they sent me this hair, Ula hair. This is what it comes with. It comes with a wig cup, two piece, um, totally on brand. Then it comes with. <laughs> Girl, it's been too long. Ula hair sent me this. This is the hair. This is how it's actually looking. Oh, guys, I'm so blessed. See, it's one hundred percent human hair. What is twenty two inches? 100% human hair. Length 22. Then this is how it's looking. This is how it's looking. It's bouncy. The lens is 20 inches. And This is all for this is all for the galleys who you see that depth what this is all for the galleys who don't know how to install a wig it's a closure closure wigs are the best you know what I'm saying and then does this bonds here so that you can adjust the length and then also these other two and basically don't need to do anything to it so i don't need to use my 
ghost bun glue. So what you do, you go to the Ula hair, link will be on the description down below, and shop for what you want. For this exact measurement, you see it's 250 density, texture is straight, wig length size is 22 inches, there are different lengths and sizes, but I chose this is the exact Hair that I'm using in this video, you add to cut, then proceed to view cut, then go down, like scroll, 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 check if you have everything, you can also paint with PayPal or debit or credit card, so you check it out, you fill your shipping information, and you can actually get it shipped with FedEx or DHL, so you go scroll down and then you apply my coupon code, which is bear uh, to get ten dollars off you can see already it has given you ten dollars off guys so always use my coupon card link will be in the description down below okay let's continue no need to use my ghost bond glue so happy at that date so much easy work so let's install it should we work up should we, should we wear this cap? Because we're not installing it actually. I'm just doing this to do a video because why every time that I have to go out, I don't even go out. So actually, actually there's nothing I need to do for this wig. Imagine there's nothing that I need to do. Like it's already it's so well woven. And the density is so nice, guys. Okay, let's install this. I came prepared with my whatever styling, but we don't need it. We don't need that. Huh? Easy, easy peasy. Mm -hmm. We may need to do something for the lace, but other than that, guys, I need to start wearing. Like, gosh, this wig is so nice, guys. From now henceforth, Kemunto will be going. Like it's so easy. I don't need to do anything. I just need to do. Like I feel like I don't even need to do anything. Do I need curls or should I have a straight? Wait. Do I feel like I have time to do that? Actually today. Hmm. Huh? Decision decisions. Let's cut this lace first <sighs> i love this wig i love it oh my god me Kemunto. like this wig is everything like i love the feel of this wig we're going to be reviewing Nairobi Diaries sizing it's even much easier to review it very easy Guys, where is he? Where is he? <laughs> Guys, I am. Can you see the excitement? Can you reach? Let's. Don't worry about this parting. We're going to conceal it. I'll show you how I, I finance the wigs. Yup. Oh my God, black guys. Nini kuchangu na katika ivo. Oh, maybe I do curls, but now on and come on. I don't know. Comment down below, guys. Do you like me with straight hair or curly hair? Kwanzaa, sinini. Do you like me with curly hair? I'm gonna use a heating protector. I wanted to do like a curl to it, but I feel like I'll do it in another video. Like you guys decide for me in the comment section down below. I am so tempted, but this week is so nice. 
let me let me for today have straight hair so yeah, this this wig is for my girlies who are like me like it's already pre-plucked guys by the way everything has come pre-plucked let's cut the lace so like our body cut up razor like I've cut, I've cut a bit of hair, but this lace, you see this lace the way it is, like the type of lace will tell you like, yeah, yeah, but this, this is actually for the girlies who are afraid to do their hair, like this is, anyway guys, let me do my makeup real quick, and then I'm going to do the makeup when I'm discussing the show. How will it be? Eh. No. Nope. Let's just do. Let me just like even my, my, my camera. I need to buy extra battery for my camera. See this clothes. My sister gave me this. <gasps> mm. So yeah, if you don't know my makeup routine, because I'm actually doing the same. Let me know if you want to see it here, maybe or not on TikTok. But for real, for real, let me finish doing my makeup off camera and yeah, we'll be back. Maybe I should go live on Instagram while I'm doing my makeup. Yeah, let me do my makeup and then we'll be back shortly to do the review. All the details of the hair link will be on the description. So guys, you see, I wanted to show you like you saw how it was. So you just take the foundation, I'm doing my makeup actually, you just take your foundation of your skin color, not too much, and then just dab. So you see, it actually totally blends. Yeah. Oh, that's how I do it. So let me finish my makeup. Yeah, actually follow me on TikTok. I have a TikTok video of me showing me how I'm doing this makeup. So let me go back. <laughs> so without further ado, that is the hair, black middle part hair. How do you like me? <laughs> yes, I do that. So this is the hair, guys. I look so good. So the specs of this hair is two, two. It's a closure. A glueless wig so it's two by six inches we love it the depth there and it's a closure wig and it's raw vietnamese raw vietnamese uh, hair and it's straight guys for more details shop down below and also use my code to get ten dollars there this is my code will be here and link will be on the description like literally i have nothing to do like this hair is it's that good guys right now I'm just doing this so, so that you guys can see but I don't need to even flat iron in it straight but I want you to I want to straight down for straight flat iron for you so that you can see like the way it handles heat but actually I wouldn't have flat iron because there is no need Guys, and it's black, guys. What hair color should I change or to next, guys? What hair color should I change to next? And I think it has a little bit of baby. Yeah, Ula here. Thank you. Thank you so much for sending me this hair. Too bad this makeup is not going anywhere. Hmm. From It's from this company here. It's so nice. It's so silky. It's like a kimono also. Anyway, guys, can we just talk about Nairobi Diaries right now? Also, if you want to shop, the link will be on the description down below of this hair. My mind is everywhere, guys, because I feel like I'm so hot. I come with notes. Grab a coffee, a tea, a drink, a wimbo wimbo. I know I've body enough with the advert, sorry, but we need to get paid, hush, whatever way. Anyway. That's my wine glass, carry you, and then we have this 
so also have a drink drink responsibly so i'm gonna have this this is what this is syrup we're gonna mix a cocktail and it's a man it's a monday i was supposed to do this video i was supposed to do this video a long time ago but it is what it is so i'm gonna mix a cocktail I don't know if it's gonna taste good but we'll see it's my first time having siroc and then i'm gonna mix it with this uh del monte pineapple syrup because it comes with a syrup in syrup so this is a peach flavored oh my god this is gonna be lit okay let's mix this first let's mix it don't look at my thing thing is there Everything is like your levy. This is my first time. Like in it out. Okay, let's not go crazy. You're not. Wow, it's smelling nice. This is like, uh, who's, who's Nini? P. Didi? Daddy? Like, what's his name now? I don't know. So, with pineapple slices, syrup. So I'm gonna use this pineapple. Okay, I can sit up here. No, I was supposed to taste it. I'm so silly. I was supposed like I was supposed to taste. Calling me and up squeeze me called out I was supposed to taste this okay, okay, okay. Let me let me do it. Let me taste it. It has a peach flavor. It's a vodka. Mm -hmm. You may mix a peach now, pineapple. Hope the cocktail will be giving. That's my cocktail now. What? It's good. Guys, I always fear getting drunk because of. I can also see now. You may sell. A review show gun and this pineapple. Ooh, this is pineapple slices. Let me see. Okay, well, I love pineapple, guys. Okay, so yeah, Mini is trying to be everyone's like Mini is a hustler and an opportunist. But I'm so happy for them, guys, because I feel like this uh, show is from the is a franchise of is a franchise of what is a franchise of I think Real Housewives is a franchise of Real Housewives. Uh, it's like the franchise of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yeah, so I'm very happy for them. I'm very happy for all the cast. I'm very happy for like this is like let them get the bag let them get money let them get paid like hmm? so this is season mm, it's good it's good but living in Liachanga so this is episode one season one episode 12 guys baby girls mm -hmm. and I think I'm gonna get cancelled because of this I'm actually gonna be getting console. So anyway guys, sorry I did not react for episode 9, 10 and 11. I'm sorry guys. I do have a life also. But there was no no much drama in episode 9, 10 and 11 and we all know like we watch these reality shows to kusanya drama So you should also have snacks because we are here for a long time. If you like these videos, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if I should react to other Real Housewives. And comment down below uh, any any unpopular opinion you have of reality show, especially this one in Nairobi. Uh, yeah, so I have here snacks on snacks. Snacks, snacks, snacks. Snacky snacky, grab you a snack. This is a uh, chocolate milk chocolate, a uh, classic cordial 
with cherries. Hey, last to la, la. <clears throat> So, of course, in the colors in Ghana, hmm? this is how they look. You see, one, one, one. Let's take one. Oh, it has cherries. Sign the name. It has cherries inside. Hey, hey. This is a mess. A mess. But it's it looks like this. See? It's chocolate, milk chocolate. And then when you comment, I watch my ways. Just watch you guys guys. It has the cherries inside. Yeah. <laughs> it's a mess. No. <laughs> Anyway, where are we? Where in the chapter for my room. We all love drama as much as we try and deny it, but we watch reality shows to see other people's drama. Of course, we don't like our own dramas. We like to see drama from afar. Oh, this cocktail. Whoa. It's good. In a nutshell, episode 9, 10, and 11, the girls who are the cast who are in Malindi, guys. Malindi is so beautiful. Then this billionaire resort. I was also like, guys, if you haven't visited Malindi before, please do. You will love it. Last year, I was in Malindi and I'm planning to go back. Actually, my resort where I was staying, it was just like five minutes away from billionaire. Like billionaires is, was the neighbor. And it's actually such a nice place. It's good. It's gushy. So, yeah, Kenya is so beautiful. And this is another thing why I love Real Housewife of Nairobi because it's showcasing all the good sides, all the good uh, uh, things Nairobi has to offer. So the girls, the cast is in Malindi. They're celebrating Susan's 40th birthday. And actually, I think Susan has done the nyonyos. She has done an implant and they look so good, like they match their match her tiny body so well. So yeah, or or if you haven't done a boob job, a boob, boob implants, Suzanne, sorry, just take it as a compliment because the titties are sitting really, really nice. Anyway, the cast is in Malindi and of course Lisa is just being a Karen. You all know by now, like, I don't know, I just have this love and hate relationship with Lisa. But actually, Lisa is so, such a beautiful, like, woman. You should give us a, your skincare routine. In this episode, and I feel you are right. You are right about Mini. There's something about Mini, and I really didn't like Mini at all. Actually, Mini is my least favorite cast. Shocking. I end up liking... I just like Vera so much. Like Vera is my favorite. Like Vera is everything to me. Like she, she. No, yeah. I'm gonna tell you why. Mini is just being mini, a hustler, like sucking people's. Uh, she's like hustling, like b between the cast member who she'll benefit. Like she's opportunist. I believe like there's a difference between opportunist and hustler. And social climber. I feel like Mini is a social climber. And during this season, Mini has really like she is actually the fake one in this episode. And um, like social climbing between the cast members to see who she's gonna like reap more benefits from. The thing about opportunities and social climber is that they will want to climb on someone else but they will not like for them like someone else to climb on their fame that's but i'm so happy for every cast member like they are getting the back they are getting the money and i hope you guys who are going to watch this show so that can get good ratings so that season two can come back i feel like vera you will misunderstand vera so much but i feel like vera has really mastered the way to play this social media game and she hashed it up with sonal because that's the only thing i love vera too. i love vera like vera is my favorite in this in this show uh, i didn't like her when she told sonal about her pill problem 
but at least she cover it up because honestly sonan can be really like bitchy sometimes but at least vera hashed it up with sonan and we love that women are for women let's see how long it lasts though because in the reunion the shebos were shooken shooken like there's no much drama they're just happy they like i feel like they already got the check episode season one because the way these girls like unoranga ile sura ya pesa kila kas member alikuwa na sura ya pesa nani atakasirika nani atakuwa na makasiriko senye the check is in, the bag is in the bank account like everyone was walikuwa na ngaa and of course they're in malindi hmm? white bitches hmm. so there was no much bitchiness the women were for women empowerment but let's see let's not let's not hush rush things up because in the reunion i know that they're gonna star the table because we all watch reality shows for the drama for the drama let me tell you for real for real we watch it for the drama because in episode 9 10 11 i was like forwarding there's no drama there's no drama there's no drama but it was really good i love it i love the cinematography the cast like i love the way like this show was built up whether it's scripted whether it's not i really do not care they're entertaining us and they're showing the really good parts of kenya and uh high being an uh, an appointed travel ambassador of kenya i am rooting for them <laughs> anyway susan is my favorite actually you know of course i review these videos these are just my opinions and my reaction of the show i do not know anyone on this um episode i don't know anyone i'm just reviewing according to what they show the characters they show on the show so yeah so actually this episode cast this past three episodes susan has really like shown like she is not a catty person like she's not a catty person at all she's really nice and i feel that's why why Min is softening up to Susan so that she can benefit from Susan. It's not sitting well with me. About uh, what Mini said about Sonal, like I feel like that's what made me see. Like I don't know. Like no, Sonal is not stuck up in my opinion. Mini is just being a hustler. So that she is opportunist social climber. Let me be correct. Let me be precise. And she's just seen an opportunity wants to ride on it just like all social climbers are to me min is the one who's kissing us and wants to social climb on susan we all remember how betty kialo when when we thought like posh palace was for betty then when they had fight like allegedly then it came to new like posh palace was for susan so i feel like this is like susan is uh, someone like she has means she has op uh, like op opportunities to give like she looks like a really wealthy wealthy lady and yeah, she comes from wealth she comes from old money remember when i thought sonal is the one who ca came from old money and then sonal like gave her her story like her background so yeah this is like susan is the one who's come from old money i that's just my opinion just uh mini is like sugar coating kissing susan and sonal uh, sonal's us because she knows she has something she's seen something she she's seen an opportunity that she can climb on and mini by the way that swimwear it ain't giving especially the way you call yourself like a fashion fashion who like fashion you're a fashion guru like that swimmer icon like what's what's with the biker pants connected with the swimmer and the pattern like no red is the one red is in season red and black is what's in season it's what's trading in 2023 that's what that's what's up this like but they're talking of it this kimono is from ulinary i'll show you when i unbox it uh, yeah, follow me on TikTok, guys. Follow me on TikTok. Subscribe. We are road to 50,000 subscribers. Subscribe, subscribe. Share this video. Like, share opinion. Yeah, most importantly, like, 
yeah that's when i was not giving i can rate it for like what is it what with the biker like the patterns the prints like it wasn't giving like and you better start swimming you better start swimming and biking and yoga and what else meditation all those uh, activities and hobbies they they well the wealthy do to be accepted and blend in so that you can social climb really well like you need to blend in to where you want to konini stop saying oh, i don't know how to swim i don't know how to bike i don't know how to do yoga then what were you doing inviting sonal to go biking see mabo ya kufia women do not fear judgment it's like you need to i don't know how to swim Mm. Nini, 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 like it's boring actually i can already know the script of mini and what's with sonal about saying mini knows how to does not know how to ride a bicycle but knows how to ride other things what was that about is someone God. I'm sorry guys i told you i want you to watch this video with snacks and drinks i told you to come prepared right did i not tell you anyway let's continue my battery is blinking so here comes dr catherine wants to match make and find a perfect match for sonal of course mini has high class pimp at that so now of course doesn't see anything wrong with the matchmaking of dr catherine matchmaking like high and i value men to women who are i can say beautiful yeah so she doesn't see anything wrong with that because of course she's indian and it's well practiced in in the indian culture like marrying off your daughter to the wealthy like you all know about indians guys look at my cocktail so cute hmm? it's everything it's giving i'm gonna get drunk honestly on my opinion about dr catherine like um, um it's making people like i don't see anything wrong with it as long as it's two adults who are consenting adults both parties agree and know what it's on the table i have no business judging anything and yeah actually i don't have anything and actually dr kathy used to have those samantha bridal show i used to watch them i don't know if they're still on the local television but i really loved watching the samantha bridals and wedding shows like i was so immersed immersed i was addicted to it you already know my question though is where does dr catherine get this high value men no also you guys want to know like you know like i know you are you i know you want to know like dr catherine tell us Tell us, tell us in the comment section below. I know there's no way she's gonna comment. The only one who has commented on my series of, I think if I find them, I'm gonna like screenshot here. By the way, Sonal also has a YouTube channel. Shout out to Sonal Maharali. If I'm saying your wrong name wrong, sorry. So yeah, I'll pop, put the screenshots there so I come with receipts. I come with receipts. So yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you for commenting. Please share this video, like, and please, Put in a hand there so that I can like join the reunion. I also see like real houses of Atlanta people usually go to the reunion. I wanna be in the reunion. Like I need to be in the real house of, of reunion. Like um, please, I need to be there. Anyway, so now said she's divorced, right? You all know like she said that like that was her main storyline since season episode one she said she's divorced from her 
divorced or separated. But now she's back with her baby daddy because Dr. Catherine managed to like Dr. Catherine managed to find a suitor for Sonal, but Sonal said like, oh, I'm satisfied with my baby daddy. I only need one man in my life. So Sonal, are you divorced, separated, or was it just a storyline? Or to single man in union? Because you also, Amber Ray, did you see Amber Ray? Like, congratulations by the Amber Ray for giving birth. Like, I need to see that video, labor and delivery on YouTube because Amber Ray, that girl is like, she knows how to tell a story. Like, I never watch labor and delivery because I don't want to be scared, guys. I'm still not yet a mother. So I don't want to watch any, even when my sisters were giving birth, I was like, Lekua Mbali Sana. Because there's no way you're going to ruin it for me. Hmm? And the day when I get pregnant, I'm going to have a, was it that thing she done in the language? Epidural because me I cannot stand pain. I cannot stand pain. But Amber Ray, I watch Amber Ray's like her stories when she was giving birth delivery. And guys, she's back with Rapundo. Like Mamba Watwa Willy. Uswa ingilia. Uswa ingilia kapsa Mamba Watwa. I think Minnie wants to replace her Mr. Juguna with one of Dr. Catherine's high value rich wealthy man. Why sunajua tu sunajua tu akikuyo. Unajua. They'll always want to find na si kwa ubaya, si 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 kui like tribal supply. They'll always want better, which is sometimes good, it works for them. But sometimes gutaka yote, kutaka kula kila kitu nakosa. Anyway, we move. Does Dr. Catherine just a cut or a check for pimping these women hmm? like not like pimping okay let me use my words collect correctly by matchmaking does dr Catherine like get a cut when like she matches her her, her clientele with like sup like suppose but nurse i want to know like i really want to know about that because so now insist that this is her real job this is dr catherine's real like real real job so and when you say real job like for me youtube is a real full gig for me so that means i get my cut my check on youtube so that does dr catherine gets a cut for matchmaking does he does she has an online like site or is it exclusive like i want to know how she, how it works like how or like i just want to know I'm asking, I'm asking for a friend of a friend. Si unajua wenye wasiana wa Kenya wanapenda, wanapenda wazungu. Mnaona hizo TikTok lives zenye watu wanatafutana wazungu, sijui mabibi wazungu wenye wanakuanga live wakuambiana like tips and tricks online dating sites. Gani unafaa kuenda ndo upate mzungu. So yeah, I think it will work like Think about like creating an online mini if you don't have it. Anyway, Bella is still carrying this show, like she's carrying it on her shoulder. And hate her or love her. She has really mastered the art of social media and she's the she's it's very true, she's the most Googleable person in in Kenya in the world. I don't know that. Don't don't quote me. But for me, she's the one who's carrying the show. The other cast are just playing safe. I'm sorry. Let's go on a break. Asmara. Guys, like the, um, like, subscribe, and share. This still doesn't beat, uh, I still like Pringles more than this ones. This one has a texture to it and it's much salty. Guys, I'm sorry, I know you guys are hating me, but it's an SMR. Huh? You can click out and come when I'm not eating, but I just had to 
eat because I'm hungry. Me, I feel like Minnie is fishing for a fight with Dr. Catherine. And sorry for me, Minnie has no fashion sense at all. 2023 trends fashion are from the 90s, Minnie. And Dr. Catherine's style is effortless, classy, elegant. And yours is not just there. Yours is just, your fashion sense is just hustling. Wait till Dr. C finds out Minnie been calling her a pimp behind her back. That mentoring will be cut loose. And this is why I'm telling you Minnie is everywhere. Like she's everywhere like trying to find where is she going to benefit the most. Where is she going to benefit. And if you are like this, you, all, you always end up losing a lot. You always end up like not like losing. Like when you count your eggs before they hatch, they do what? Finish it for me guys. Anyway, for me personally, Sonal's fashion sense is a 10 of a 10, a vibe. Like, a vibe. Like, let's talk about the way she went to Masai. The rally, she was killing it. So, a vibe. Uh, when she's in Malindi, all her outfits were comfortable, chic, fashion, elegant. Like, she knows how to. Like, it's a vibe. No cap. Susan Fashion Sales is still stuck. Susan, I love you, I love you, I love you. But your fashion sense is still stuck in the beauty pageant eras. And <laughs> I know it works for you. And at least you don't like go around like me saying like, oh, I'm a fashionista. I know how to dress. At least you just know how, like you are you. You don't like you are a pa beauty pageant like and i feel like your boob job and if you haven't done your boob job like just take it as a compliment your boobs are sitting for a 40 year old your boobs are boobing yeah we love that and i saw Minnie saying something like is it was it Minnie on the reunion she was saying something about like a botched boob job those are not bo bo botched Anyway, Minnie's fashion sense style is a little bit everywhere. Like, it's like, an, like, what is it called? It's like sheen, like, I don't know, like, it's just everywhere. Like, there's no, like, you, you, got, you know, sometimes, like, when you dress, it's bold. Like, it tells you, it gives a statement. Minnie's is everywhere. Like, she's, it, it has fashion sense describe a hustling mentality anyway this is fashion is just like a current nothing much to talk about it we move oh i'm hot my unpopular opinion this is actually my letter Vera's fashion is typically of an ig modern her fashion sense is like there you see when you open fashion nova page the ig fashion like it's just there it's like vibrant yeah but i think it works for her because she's a socialite and this is how she gets her money so we can't judge there uh dr cousin's fashion is ele elegant timeless and classy like she walks in the room you know like this woman this woman so now you are alone. I don't know how to dress, guys. They know it. Let me just say it. Let, let me just give it to them. They know how to dress. Anyway, Malinde is an ab absolutely beautiful, gorgeous place. If you haven't visited it and you are Kenyan, please take a bus and go to Malinde. The food is fresh. The atmosphere is atmospheric. It, it's a vibe. Like Malindi is so good. You should go. You should visit Malindi. I'm just happy for Vera so much with this gig she's gotten with Real Housewives of, uh, of Nairobi. I feel like the Real Housewives is still the franchise. I, like, I, I feel, this is just my opinion. These are not facts. This is my opinion. I feel like, and correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like it's a franchise of the Bravo. 
the main one, the real houses of Atlanta. Yeah, I feel like I'm so, I'm so happy for Vera getting this gig. She deserves it. She she carried the show well, and I feel like the women are not so catty. Like they deliver without being like with ill intentions because you know a show also has to has drama so that we watch it too so i feel like it was really such a good show and i'm just happy for for her i'm so happy for vera she'll never be broke again because the check for real housewife of nairobi i've had the check is big it's good and it it will provide them with really more more opportunities and i love the fact that they really did advertise kenya yeah they did and i just feel happy for vera for getting this gig because she'll never be broke again because you know what the streets are saying that vera is broke that vera is being chased away from her houses, her posh palace, not her posh palace. What was her salon that it's closed down? There's always rumors in the streets about Vera. Anyway, I think that's what makes her interesting and mysterious. Anyway, Minnie is fishing so bad for a bestie card with Susan and is not sitting well with me. I hate hypocrites. I hate social climbers. I hate just people who want to use people. I hate it. They are going around saying at the table, at the, I think at the bar, they are going around saying what they love about each other, uh, the cast. And I believe so. I, be, I believe so, especially what they're saying about Vera and Susan. I believe it. I believe this is their qualities. And yeah, just go and watch the show. The show is on Showmax, guys. Actually, I was so, like, I'm addicted to the to the show until, you know, I used to I used to pay the 300 for phone, mobile phone, Showmax. So now I've just paid for the TV, to watch it on TV. And it's so much clearer and so much like nice. Like I like watching in the big screen. So yeah. How much was it? No, it's seven fifty to watch on TV. Seven fifty per month. And then I share it with my because I'm a hustler like me. <laughs> no, I'm not like many. But I like I like like making money so and saving. So we divided with my sister, so we are paying and paying like two fifty per month and yeah so season one it's finally over and i see like there's a reunion which vera gave birth and susan please invite me on your podcast dangerously in love because honestly i'd like to share uh, about body positivity and what i've experienced online because i've been bullied of being fat and not in real life, like on social media. Because in real life, nobody has the guts to come in front of you and tell you you're fat. Nobody. But in social media, keep, keep out warriors. So I like to share how I overcome that. Because in social media, believe it or not, even slim ladies get bullied, like body shamed. Yeah, I would like to talk about it. So Susan, call me, email me. Yeah. And it's finally the reunion and um, here I'm wondering why was I not invited? Why was I not invited? Nairobi Dennis, why did you not invite me? I'm actually feeling like you guys are being shady. Anyway guys, I'm waiting for you to like, comment. And subscribe. Anyway, cheers to everyone on the show, on the cast. You did an amazing, you did a good job. You showed Nairobi, you showed how Nairobi women are. I'm so proud of this show and what it, it stands for. Because 
I saw you guys promoted Kenya really well and I'm proud of that. Anyway guys, thank you so much. I'm a, my name is Kemunto Bea by the way. Sorry, I didn't say to introduce myself. So follow me on all social medias. Subscribe in the road to 50,000 subscribers. Please give me this gift. I would love to reach 100k. My birthday is June. It's coming up. It's June 21st. So please uh, share, subscribe, subscribe. We are currently sitting at 42,000, I think 200 subscribers. And I call my subscribers Kate Shive. So share, share, share of over a thousand videos online. I do makeup, beauty, every kind of thing. And so now but I'm still waiting for the shoes. I, I want to work with you. <laughs> anyway, guys, cheers. Have a good day. I can't wait for the reunion. Wow. It was so good. This rock is good. I'll give you, and then this is the pineapple. Oh, guys. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Subscribe. Okay, shop the links to the hair. I love it. Black is back in fashion. Anyway, tell me what color should I try next. I shop the links to the hair. Use my code there. Well, it's on the screen here to get some discount off.